There is a verse of scripture in Psalm 51, it's the 10th verse, it says this, renew, I'm only going to read part of it, renew a steadfast spirit within me. One time I remember being in Boy Scouts and we were on a camping trip and during the night a storm came and all of us in the scout, we were kind of hanging on to the pole in the center of our tent. Some tents today don't have that center pole because they're put together differently, but we used to have a pole right in the middle that went in first and hold the tent up. And we would cling to that pole because the wind was blowing, the rain was falling, thunder was booming, and we were afraid. And the Word of God is like that very much. Um, if we're seeking to remain steadfast in our faith, the Word of God is our center pole that we cling to. The world that we live in will storm. The world that we live in will buffet us and beat against us with storms that are political, storms that are economical, storms uh, that threaten our health and our well-being. Our center pole, ladies and gentlemen, is the Word of Almighty God. Uh, sometimes the wind will blow of temptation and of doubt and of false doctrine and of compromise, but we remain true to God by clinging to that center pole of His Word in our lives. We hold fast to the Word. We look to the Word rather than the world. I want to say that again. We look to the Word rather than the world, and we can be assured at that time that our doctrine will be correct and our faith will be pure. So I want to encourage you today to make it your aim to hold fast to the Word of God. Read it daily and let it pervade your thoughts and all of your actions. Consult your Bible in all decisions, large and small, that pertain to your life. In moments of confusion and in moments of trial, turn to the Scripture for insights and for guidance. Like those Boy Scouts, I was there, I was one of them, holding to that center pole, hold on fast to the Word of God in the storm we call life today, and God will bring you through. Victorious, faithful, true to the Word of God, the truth, you will not apostate in your doctrine if you'll hold to the Word. Listen to what Hugh Cowan said. Our strength is shown in the things that we stand for. Our weaknesses are shown in the things that we fall for. From Traverse City, Michigan, this is Brother Paxton encouraging you today. Hold fast to the Word of God and stand up, stand up for Jesus and be counted in this generation. Go with God, He will go with you.